Hello, Rich Merritt here with Digital Combustion and another tutorial for you on exporting your simulations. So we wanted to talk a little bit about saving and exporting your simulations and the differences between the two uh, because sometimes there's some confusion and people aren't quite sure which way they need to go, uh, especially if they need to take that simulation and put it on another computer. So we're going to just do this uh, quick tutorial today to go over the basics of exporting your simulations. So. What I've got on the screen here is just a very simple simulation. It uses all of our default backgrounds, smoke and all that. So there's nothing custom about this, meaning there's nothing that uh, I didn't bring in an extra background or something that didn't come with Fire Studio. So this is just a, basically everything is stock on it. And I'm going to go ahead and first save the simulation and um, let you see what exactly happens when we save it. So when I click the Save Sim button, uh, I've already created a folder on my desktop and I'm calling it exported sims but for right now we're just going to save this sim and we'll call it um, sim1 and make it real easy hit select and you can see that changed my name here and so now we've saved that sim as sim1 so what just happened exactly so when you save a simulation especially one that doesn't have any custom backgrounds what it does is it creates a DCS file and I'll show you that here so now in that folder that we just looked at under my exported sims I've got a simulation called sim1.dcs and that stands for digital combustion simulation and so it saves that simulation it um, saves all the instructions on where the smoke goes which background it's using and so it's really all the information that Fire Studio needs to put that simulation together and sometimes people think that uh, Fire Studio saves it as a video or some sort of thing that runs but no it just it's just basically the instructions on what that sim needs to do to open up so that's that's all it is and so since it has default backgrounds that's all that's all you need so you could take that file right now and I could send it to anybody that has Fire Studio and they'd be able to open it uh, with no problem because they already have those backgrounds and everything that that's on it is already there the trick becomes is what what happens when we start adding our own custom backgrounds which is most people they go out and start taking pictures and, and putting in custom backgrounds so what I'm going to do is is do that on this uh, particular simulation we can swap out the background and put something custom there so let's go ahead and do that I've got a uh, library here called new backgrounds and let's go ahead and just grab one and we'll swap it out. So when I click add, it basically takes that background that we had on there and swaps it out with a with a new background. So I'm going to go ahead and just leave it just like it is, just so happen that smoke landed in a in a nice spot so I can actually just save this one again. So first, I'm going to go ahead and save it and show you show you what happens. So let's go ahead and save this and I'll save this one as sim2 since it's a different background so it's a really a completely different simulation so I'm going to save it as sim2 and hit OK so you can see we've saved it as sim2 now if we go back into that folder and look at it we've got sim1 and sim2 and those are both DCS files so the first sim as I told you I could give that to anybody and they could open it up and it would work just fine now sim2 would be another story because I have a custom background in it and that that kind of changes the game. If I was to send this out to anybody with Fire Studio, they would see it and they would be able to open it, but what would happen is that background would be missing. There'd be no background here. So this picture, because they didn't have it, they don't have that picture, so it would just be a white background. So you just see some smoke on the screen and then they call you and say, hey, I got your simulation, but my backgrounds are white. And we get a lot of calls where people say, hey, my backgrounds are all white, what happened? And that's because once you need to move it to another machine, especially if you have custom backgrounds you must export it and so if you look right next to the save sim button right here there's one called export sim and so we're going to go ahead and do that and so I'm going to go ahead and, and click export and let's just call this sim 2 but we're going to put export on it so we're saving this sim 2 export and so we'll, and I'll let you know what happens so that's basically kind of like doing a save as, so it's saved over the old one. Your, your, your old one's still there, but now you have another one called Sim2 Export. But when we go back into that folder, you'll see that this one's a little different. So whereas when we saved Sim1 and Sim2, it just saved a single file. When we exported the Sim, now we've got Sim2 
export and we've got the sim2 export dcs for the digital combustion simulation and then we also have sim2 export.lbr and what the lbr file is is really kind of the most one of the most important parts because that is where your custom layers go custom backgrounds custom sounds or anything that didn't come with fire studio it creates another library so that when you open the simulation on another machine it's going to have that picture now and so you won't get those white backgrounds so if i was going to move this simulation to another machine i'd need to copy both of these and maybe i'd copy them to a thumb drive or however you want to get it from point a to point b even if it was over a network you could put them on a shared drive but these these two folders i'm sorry these two files need to go on that other computer so you'd put them in a in a simulation folder there and then you'd load that simulation and as long as those files are kept together when you load that sim it's going to it's going to look for that library in the same folder and actually load it for you so then you'd have uh, what you see here and it would be exactly the same so it, it doesn't matter if you have one custom background or a hundred um, that library file has to come with it and the more backgrounds and different things that you have the bigger that file is going to be so if you have one or two JPEGs in there it's not going to be that small but if you have a big huge simulation and you've got sound files and backgrounds and all sorts of different things that file can get actually pretty big so just a quick review if you save it using the save sim, you can play it on your computer all you want. Um, if you if you uh, don't have any custom backgrounds, you can actually send that simulation file to someone else and they could open it. As soon as you do custom backgrounds, you want to use the export simulation. And one other quick note on exporting a simulation, you really want to have your simulations done and um, ready to go before you export them because you don't want to have to keep if you if you add something new later then you'd have to re-export it so kind of wait till you're completely done you can maybe save it along the way as you go and, and then once it's completely finished you're going to take those two files move them over to another computer and then you'll be able to open those simulations just like you do on your own machine so that's it for our exporting simulation tutorial if you have any other questions or need some other uh, advice or want to learn something else about Fire Studio, you can always go to our website at digitalcombustion.com. And so that's it for this tutorial. I'm Rich Merritt for Digital Combustion and look forward to uh, showing you some more simulation tutorials in the future. Thank you.